It's been a couple of months since Canthony got their happily ever after in Bridgerton season 2 and we gotta say, if there's one thing these siblings know, it's their way around the cutthroat marriage market. Now that the old ones are out of the way, we can finally shift our focus to a younger lot, particularly Francesca Bridgerton. In today's video, we're unraveling Lady Violet's most mysterious offspring and the newest star playing her. First, let's take a quick look at the missing Miss Bridgerton. By now, we know quite a lot about most of the Bridgerton clan. There was the mystery of the Viscount's death, but that too was solved back in season 2. Although we do wonder if the beasting scene sacrificed some scientific accuracy for the sake of drama. Anywho, coming back to Francesca, anyone recall actually seeing her with the rest of the fam? If you don't, despite watching both seasons, you're not alone folks. She has managed to stay out of the spotlight and Lady Whistledown's gossip sheets at the same time. That's a pretty impressive thing, especially considering most of her siblings have been the highlight of the ton's gossip once or twice, except for the younger ones, of course. Now, you might not remember this, but she was a part of season one for the tiniest moment. We totally get it if the details are a little hazy. We mean, with Reggae Jean Page on the screen, it'd be hard to remember anyone else. So apparently, Francesca was visiting an aunt in Bath back then and that's about it. We never really saw her for the rest of the season until Eloise's grand, very anxious debut. But she was so in the background that we hardly noticed. Going back to season two and you you'll realize she was there with her siblings cooing over their baby nephew. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you're in and out of the family affairs for so long. Then we clearly saw her with the family on their trip to Aubrey Hall with the Sharmas. But weirdly enough, there was no sign of her after that. It's like she fell off the face of the earth or something. Now, how did she manage to go AWOL during a family retreat without a chaperone? We've got so many questions, but showrunners pretty much swept the whole thing under an expensive victory Victorian rug. Probably thought we wouldn't notice with all Canthony tension, but we did. So turns out the original Francesca, Ruby Stokes, had to leave mid-production to lead another Netflix series, Lockwood & Co. So what happens to Francesca Bridgerton now? Netflix has roped in Hannah Dodd from the Anatomy of a Scandal to play the mysterious Bridgerton in season 3 of the show. With her taking up the role, it looks like Francesca's days out of the eyes of high society are numbered, and it's only a matter of time before we see her on the dance floor in one of Madame Delacroix's gowns. Now that Lady Whistledown has put her on top of her business, we're pretty sure she'll be a big part of the upcoming season. From what we've heard, Dodd's absolutely thrilled to be playing the part. In one of her recent interviews, she shared that she couldn't really believe that she'll get to play Francesca. Some might find her excitement confusing since she's not really the most famous of the Bridgerton clan. But if you're a book nerd and have read Julia Quinn's novel series, then you probably get where she's coming from. You see, Francesca's a big part of the book series. We'll get to that in just a bit. So, Dodd got up to speed on the Bridgerton books as soon as she landed the role and even though Francesca's story doesn't take center stage until book 6 in the series, the star picked that one up first. Well, cause she didn't know exactly what she's gotten herself into. I needed to read that as soon as possible. It's such a beautiful book and she's such a beautiful character. Guess she ended up becoming a fan herself. And get this, her favorites Penelope and Colin stories. So she's super excited to see how that pans out in Netflix's version. And so are we. Next up, let's see what Francesca's part in the books. So what do we really know about this sister? If you haven't read the books, then practically nothing. If that's the case, then we've got you covered. If you look at the Bridgerton family tree, then she's the sixth Bridgerton of the clan and so her book is the sixth in the series. When he was wicked, she's about a year younger than Eloise but if you think the sisters are anything alike, you've got a another thing coming. We all know Eloise is the rebellious one, probably too rebellious for her own good sometimes. Francesca, on the other hand, is nothing like her woke, uncomfortable in the face of polite society sister. Surprisingly, she's more like Daphne in that area, cool, calm, collected, and the picture of ladylike perfection. As you can imagine, she has absolutely no trouble with her grand debut in society. And thanks to her elegance and wry sense of humor, she attracts quite the attention. But unlike the Duchess, her romance was a bit of a taboo. Enter Michael Sterling, Francesca's love interest in the novels. So this Michael guy falls in love with the wife of his best friend slash cousin. Now before you jump into any conclusions, no he doesn't stand outside their mansion holding placards on Christmas. This isn't love actually folks. In fact, she was very much in love with her husband at the time, John Sterling. And Michael, well he was a decent dude considering everything. He doesn't ever make a move on Francesca. But conveniently for him, John 
husband dies an untimely death and he finds himself in charge of his estate. Surely enough, his feelings do come out eventually and plot twist, Francesca too, starts falling for him. And in a very typical Bridgerton manner, they just can't seem to deny or escape their physical chemistry. So Dodd's gonna be a party of not one, but two steamy love stories. Can't beat that. Now for some other Bridgerton news. We might have to wait a little to see Dodd's Francesca in the lead, but you know what we don't have to wait for? Penelope Federington's season 3. So what can we expect from the third season? Benedict fans were pretty excited for an entire season of his gentle charm and wit, but looks like they'll have to wait for that too. Cause the showrunners are skipping out on his story and jumping straight to the budding romance between Colin Bridgerton and Penelope Federington. Season 3 is going to be all about book 4, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. If you're keeping up with all of the tons happenings then, you'd know that Nicola Coughlin, aka Penelope herself, revealed the newest pairing in the most Lady Whistledown way ever. Of course, nothing's confirmed until it's announced in the society papers by the gossip girl herself. She believes her third year chronicling the marriage mart should be all about a third son and a third daughter. We're sensing a pattern here. That's the most threes we've ever seen. The new showrunner, Jess Brownell, explained that he feels like it's finally their time. Can't say he's wrong. The show started setting up the stage for the whole best friends turned lovers trope in the last season. And we're pretty sure everyone felt the little tension between the usually playful best friends. So it does make sense to take their story forward. Plus, if we doubt anyone can see Penelope fawning over the clueless boy for another season. Speaking of Penelope slash Lady Whistledown, could season 3 be the end of her writing days? Guess we can all agree that the last season wasn't the easiest for Penn. She had a lot to deal with. Her father's death, the change in the patriarch of the family, the tug of war between her love for Whistledown and her best friend. We gotta say, we feel for the girl. But one thing's for sure, she loves her gossip sheets. Now, we can't help but wonder, if she is gonna be romancing Mr. Bridgerton, how is she going to keep her anonymous identity, well, anonymous? She could lie, but that didn't really work out with Eloise and we're not stoked about a relationship based on lies. We'll have to wait and see how she makes it work. Which brings us to Colin. How exactly will he make things work? While we're on the subject, aren't you curious how Colin will make up for being a complete d behind Penn's back? From what we remember, she was pretty upset when she overheard him talking to his posse about courting her. Not sure if she'll forgive him easily. Of course, before that, there's the question of how will Mr. Bridgerton accept his feelings for his best friend? Last we checked, he didn't even count her as a lady. Yeah, not his finest moment we'd say. We can't wait to see how showrunners spin things around for him. Who knows, maybe we'll even start liking him. And that about wraps up our video for today, folks. What do you think about Dot playing Francesca Bridgerton? Will she do justice to the role? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.